个钱就是你两万。Finding the right way. That's him. And there is no right reason. Just don't want to do what you think. So. Just don't want to do what you think. It's just to be the wrong way. I just don't need to be there.
All Ince was rather looking forward to a... <laughs> Happy birthday, then. Oh, you told me last week and I already yeah. knew, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know because I had a whole evening, you see, she said, it was in her house, it was on the Wednesday, she was really ill. She said, uh, many coming to your party. Uh -huh. I said, what party? And she looked and she said, oh, now it's Joe's sister. Mm. <laughs> she didn't know anything about it. She didn't know anything about it. And I said to her, are you coming home? Oh, he's put the cat in the bag. She said, what is it? He said, no. No, let it out of the bag. Out of the bag. He said, no. He said, Pamela would Well, no, she put it in because it wasn't a party. And then, yeah, I said, because you know I hate for She says, I know I do. I tried to persuade her to go out. If she'd have gone away when the doctor said, she wouldn't stop six and a half hours on a trolley. Uh, Nothing to was. eat. So it's Oh, right. Yeah. And the doctor told her to go, she got to go away. He asked her to go and she said, no, I don't want to go. So Joe said, well, I'll, I'll, it's going to be too much for me. Yeah, you're going to have a lot she of said, film if you're going to record your own lot of this. Uh, <laughs> Oh, story, no. you've got to wait for the punchline and all that. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I was going to say to your mum, next time we go away, I'll have that plan. Got to put it together, though. It's all in the box, Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Should have cut it there, really. Which is the best yeah. one to cut? Well, you don't mind, just pretend for now. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Audrey. Happy birthday to you. Why is it everybody dies when it comes to saying the name? Go on, just cut it. We don't know how to any yet. Hey.
Last time, third round of the Worthington Cup in October. And indeed, they lost the Premiership match here as well and at Villa Park in March. But by March, Villa were not the side that uh, was playing in the autumn. Southgate did head down, which I must say from the high in the stands at Chelsea makes him look very different indeed. That's Jody Morris. Delivery of the uh, Sun Pate. Good ball to Delaney. Useful cross again. And again it was the head of LeBert, but on neither occasion was he entirely in control of the situation. That's well played by Wright. Taylor. Calderwood. Taylor caution himself past Zola. Morris did well. Petrescu. Well, I would be doing the Uruguayan a favour if I didn't identify him. Second good chance for Chelsea. That one for Gustavo Poyet. A really good ball and a big hole again down the middle. What a poor finish. Delaney. Taylor. A little untidy in the defence and LeBerf was complaining about the movement of... Uh, and they managed to hold it in. The hole of the ball has to cross the line. feeling that he got away with it. Nigerian 
to Frenchman. The Spaniard. Romanian to his right, Italian to his left. Englishman down the middle. This is he, Sutton. Played by Taylor. Quiet. This is Zola. Ooh. Referee says goal kick. An injudicious challenge for sure. But the referee seeing it no more than that by Heog. He's fortunate. Smile on Zola's face and the look at Ehiog said much. Sutton, nice angle, wise. Zola. Run into uh, Hendry, who will be booked for kicking the ball away. Silly lad. on and kicks it away after the whistle had gone. Dennis Wise seemingly appealing on Hendry's behalf. But again, it's in the letter of the law for the referees. If a player kicks the ball away after the whistle has been blown, that player will be booked. It was a little fortunate, I think. Zola was stretching for it and bumped into his man. Zola to take. Beauty. And a good save. And the best part about the save was the way he followed the part of the ball and moved his feet across. Now the corner. Zola pulls Calderwood out of the middle. Header was Wright's, clearance was Thompson's. Oh, that was tight. <laughs> Two uh, chairmen in close proximity, and they were. Uh, Enjoying themselves before the kickoff, using the music in good style. Ken Bates on the left of Chelsea, Doug Ellis on the right of Aston Villa. No other choice in the end. Thompson comes across to deliver. Chelsea in the six yard area. Waiting on the edge of the box. Taylor and uh, Hendry in discussion. Now two in the six yard area. Oh, that's a good header and a good save. Met with great power. Dublin couldn't make it, Sutton almost made a mess of it. Bobby Arrow. of uh, attention needed for Le Berg. Twisted his knee as he came down and uh, Dublin was the player on top and he's in pain here, Le Berg.
a quick swig before he comes back. Well, he's certainly living up to his neck. Much relief around Stamford Bridge. Weiss. Beautifully found for Trescu. That was the most difficult of the three chances that Chelsea have had. But a lovely ball again that split the defence. Huge climb. And a good stop. Killed it with the fingertips. Gianfranco Zola. Might well have set up an opening goal for Petrescu. Might well have had a penalty. But in a very interesting half when there's been uh, more activity at David James's end, half time is reached at nil nil. The face that Chelsea supporters were seeking as the teams came out for the start of the second half. And the Burke soldiers on. Victories for uh, Chelsea over Aston Villa last season. 4-1 in the Worthington Cup. 2-1 a late winner in the Premiership here. And then 3-0 at Villa Park. Free kick given, quickly taken. No reaction from Dennis Wise. Baviaro. Point. Blind. It might still be collected. Good header here. Good here's Petrescu. It's in. Well, Ehiog might well have got a touch. Yes, he did. And I'm sure that uh, Petrescu will claim it. Hey, he I've had the stretch for it because Sutton was absolutely behind him. Mike well have touched it home. So he certainly shouldn't blame himself. And Chelsea have the lead that they've uh, suggested they were going to take, but it's been quite a long time in coming. Chelsea, Petrescu's ball through. And so close from the Uruguay. Missed by Le Berth, and here's Merson. 
But it was a chance. Not the easiest, but even so, a chance. Leberg, another contender for man of the match. Morris, Galvec. And in comes Flo. Well watched by Gareth Southgate. Draper. Murphy looks at his watch. And the Chelsea followers do not have to live any longer on their nerves. Gianluca Vialli's side. Taking all three points, just the one goal. There could, maybe should have been more. The opportunities were there, but the style of football was hugely entertaining, and there were many heroes, not least this man, who looked as though he was going to be taken to hospital with uh, the injury that he had in the first half. But he completed the course, and Brosetti was given his debut. And the one goal of the match came from Petrescu, diverted by a heel. James disappointed, but Sutton was waiting. And that one goal was enough to make a final score of Chelsea 1, Aston Villa 0. Chelsea are, for me, the best football inside in, in the Premiership. In purely in technical terms, from, from goalkeeper to... In the old days, it would have been from 1 to 11, Barry. I get a bit confused today. But from 1 to 11, they keep the ball better than anyone else in the Premiership. Uh, they might not be the best team, but they do certainly keep the ball well. And um, we knew that it was going to be difficult to, to get that ball back off of Chelsea. And I, I felt we broke the game up very well today, in the first half in particular. Um, and then there's always the opportunity of, of getting a goal. Uh, I felt, had we kept it a clean sheet, the longer the game went on, I felt that we were, we were going to get something from it. Uh, we just didn't keep a clean sheet for long enough. There was a time when it looked as though Prochesco was going to leave here. You must be very pleased that he didn't go. Yes, uh, because he's a very good player. He's not the youngest. Sometimes I, I, I like him to have a rest every now and then. Uh, but when he plays, he plays some terrific football. And uh, it's very, very important for the team. You've got so much talent here. How difficult is it for you to select from match to match? It's quite difficult, but the players know that uh, uh, there's nothing personal. I try to pick the best team for the good of the team, for the good of the players, and if I make mistakes, uh, I don't do it on purpose. So I think that uh, they're very uh, professional and they realize that uh, I'm trying to do my best. How close did you come to leaving? I was really close. But you're now pleased, as your manager is, because I just asked him on the exact point that you stayed. Yeah. I mean, uh, he told me the last year that maybe I'm not going to play all season, but uh, this season he didn't tell me anything just to fight for my place. And I'm lucky that I start the fourth game. It's the fourth game I start, and I hope that I'll keep my place in the team. I love playing for Chelsea, and uh, I love playing in front of the Stamford Bridge fans, and I do, I love it. So when we read that you're not too happy and maybe you have to think about your career, is, is that not true? Uh, no, I mean, I said something at, uh, in pre-season time, uh, must have been about seven weeks.